We have paralysis underway here. It's been going for about 30 minutes. But this is dry. What was happening before was really wet. So this is so hot I can barely stand here. And I've gotten a, a lot of comments from people all over the world really saying, why do I build it like this? Why, why do I do it this way? Why not just dig a ditch, throw the wood in there and cover it up after it gets going? Well, paralysis, I can barely stand here so hot. Paralysis is something that occurs in the wood. When you get it to a certain temperature, it gives up its gas. If you have any other way of doing it, you can't really see it. You can't feel it. So how do you know you have paralysis? When you feel like the materials you use to make the appliance are gonna fail because they're cherry red, you have paralysis. When you have a flame shooting out of this flue, which you probably can't see right now because of the light, you have paralysis. And also, it's pretty dry. So, when you have a roar in your, in your whole appliance, you have paralysis. I have no fire going on in the rocket stove right now. And this is so hot that I can barely stand here. So that's how you know how you have paralysis. And in the morning, I'll come out here and I'll have a barrel full of charcoal that's dry and ready to use. So for those that have left negative, negative comments, just realize that this is pretty neat. This is an appliance making charcoal. So it's very easy. You add wood to the ro uh, rocket stove, passes through the chamber, comes up through the flue, and at some point it gets the wood in the inner barrel hot enough to generate paralysis. And once it kicks off, you're done. All you have to do is have enough time to wait on it, to wait on it to stop and then cap it off. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. It's just another way of doing, of making charcoal. And none of this costs anything other than the build. The wood I cut is usually elm from our, our land here and elm. It's very tough. I, I don't like using it for firewood, so it makes good charcoal. So that's what I'm doing here. So this is what it's like at the end of the paralysis. Just a lazy flame. That flame is being generated from the bottom of the inner barrel. Okay, this is the next morning. This is where we checked uh, to see what the uh, production was. And it snowed. Whenever you can pick it up like that, it means you made some good product. My lid's just about had it. So the only difference today in this charcoal is the fact that I used a um, hair dryer to actually blow air into that rocket stove there, which increased the heat and made this paralysis go at, I don't know, it was about two and a half hours maybe. There's a little bit of pine. Okay. It's all made. It looks really good. High quality. And it's just over... Well, it's, it's about five-eighths of this, this barrel right here. So, good job using the hair dryer. I did have some wood stacked around the barrel. I've gotten several comments on that. So I did do that this time. And that again added more heat to the barrel. So that and the hair dryer probably, probably made it go in two and a half hours. Anyway, um, thanks for watching this. I guess this is my third video of making charcoal.
Thanks for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.